For anybody who's done any form of studio work, whether it be for production or mixing, or even just works on creating guitar tones, like I often do on my channel, you'll know just how important having a great monitoring solution, a great playback solution is, so that we can accurately know what it is we're hearing within our mix, within our guitar tone, etc. Now, my solution to this has always been to use a really cool little plug-in, a little piece of software by the fine folks at I came multimedia and this is not what this video is about but it's leading into what we're going to talk about today and that is their arc 3 software, which is their advanced room correction software. It ships with a little measurement microphone like the one I'm holding right here, very flat response. And basically what you do is you set it up in various points in your listening position or mixing position in your room and you take measurements with the software. It tells you where to position the mic. It plays a series of test tones back. And it's a very effortless process, takes about 10 minutes, and then it corrects the problems in your room. And I've used this for quite a number of years now, all the way back to their ARC 2. Their ARC 3 is fabulous. And I really attribute the use of that software to why I have a lot of success getting some tones that I like and to be able to get mixes that translate. Now, the one part about that is, the clumsy part, maybe I'll call it, is that it's a plugin that works in your DAW. So I would open Cubase, which is my DAW of choice, and I would have to put that on the master bus, play everything through that, and then make sure to turn that off before you export your mix, therefore not imparting that processing on your mix. It worked great. Yeah, there's that little extra step, and I always felt, wouldn't it be nice if we had speakers that just had that built in so that I wouldn't have to go through that step, and no matter what I was listening to, even if I was just catching up on paperwork here in the studio and I wanted to listen to Spotify, that I was still getting that room correction so that I was hearing a more accurate representation of the music. Well... The fine folks at IK Multimedia have done it again, and I gotta say, they've knocked it out of the park. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I, I did purchase these monitors that I am going to be discussing today, but the fine folks at IK Multimedia did offer me a discounted price. So I got them at a bit of a discount, and I thank them very, very much for it. Now, it was a little tough for me to take the plunge because I had never heard these before. Did a lot of research, read the materials that they had, and I was very leery about replacing my Focal Studio monitors that I had before. I really loved those. They worked great with the ARC 3 software, and I was pretty happy. But they had a lot of great info on their site about these, and I figured I would take the plunge, especially at a little bit of a discounted price. Well, guess what? The Focals have a for sale sign on them. I've had these monitors for a few weeks now, but yesterday, the folks at IK Multimedia released their X monitor software, which is what really brings these speakers to a whole other level, and we'll talk about all of that. So first and foremost, I have the iLoud Precision 6 monitors. I have a pair of those. They come in either iLoud iLoud Precision 5, iLoud Precision 6, and iLoud Precision MTM. The 5 is having a 5-inch woofer and 1.5-inch tweeter. The 6 is having a 6.5-inch woofer and a 1.5-inch tweeter. And the MTM is having two 5-inch woofers and a 1.5-inch tweeter. You see what the prices are through the IK Multimedia site here. And as a little side point, I do in the description below have an affiliate link to purchase these. And if anybody is so inclined, maybe you could use that. And I get a little bit of a kickback from the folks at IK Multimedia, which helps me to be able to continue doing these videos. So I appreciate it if you could use that. Now, what I started reading about these was just the, the specs that they have on them. And it says best in class frequency response with extended 36 hertz to 30,000 hertz range, ultra flat to plus minus 1 dB across 45 hertz to 30,000 hertz spectrum, unique linear phase response for unmatched clarity, perfect time alignment that matches theoretical ideal speaker performance. This is the important thing though, built in ARC calibration with included measurement microphone includes X monitor software with 20 plus iconic monitor emulations and extended voicing controls and individually calibrated within plus and minus 0.5 dB unit to unit consistency. And if we scroll down, they show some graphs, how the iLoud precision monitors compare to monitors that are in a much higher price range. 
So you can always go read about that on the IK Multimedia website. Now we can read specs all day long and that's what I did and I decided I would take the plunge. I was a little nervous as I really wasn't sure if these were going to match up to the focals that I'd grown to love. Well, I gotta tell you, after a couple weeks of working with them without X monitor, I was totally blown away. Utilizing them in the normal fashion I would with the ARC 3 software, I was creating mixes that were translating beautifully and I was mixing much faster, no ear fatigue, and I was really, really happy. But just as of, I believe, yesterday, the folks at IK Multimedia have finally released the X Monitor software that is the companion to the Precision line of monitors. And I must say, I'm even more blown away. I had the chance to do a full mix yesterday utilizing this. I was done much faster than I normally am when mixing. And I tested the mix on a number of other systems and it was pretty much perfect immediately after coming out of my studio room here, which does leave a lot to be desired as far as the acoustics go. But with the built-in arc calibration, it just wasn't an issue and they sound fabulous. And the really important thing to note is it doesn't sound like they're being processed. They sound very natural. You wouldn't even know that you have some sort of room correction on them. So I love the fact now that whatever I'm feeding through these, I'm going to get that room correction, whether I'm just sitting enjoying listening to some music on Spotify while I do paperwork, or whether I'm doing critical listening to create guitar tones or mixes. So let's dive over and take a look at what the features are of this software and what we can accomplish with it. So here is the X monitor software. And you'll notice here, if we start at the top, we have a menu, which the settings, we can save a session, load a session, we can update our firmware, and it gives us the info. We're on version 1.00. We also have a minimize button here where we can use this little four button panel, which we'll talk more about. And speaking of that, here we have the hardware version. This is sold separately, but this I think is a must have and allows us right from our desktop with a hardware controller to do a number of other functions. And these are assignable buttons we will talk about in just a moment. So this is also available. But we wanna be back over here to our X monitor software and figure out what everything is doing here. So you'll notice here we have separate left and right speaker selections. And obviously I have my two speakers set up here the left I can hit the identify button and you can't see it but the light flashes on the front of each speaker when I hit that we have the before and after frequency plots here so if I was to turn this and this off we have nothing on our frequency plot but if I go to speaker number two here or our right speaker and click the button before this was the measurement it had on my room and you could really see how you would probably not be too successful in creating a mix of that's going to transfer to other systems or that's going to be accurate. Well, if I come over to the after button and hit that, you'll notice what the arc room correction has done and it's brought everything. We still have a little tiny dip here, but you can see how you're gonna be much more successful at getting the mix that you want from this. So very, very interesting. We also have a voice control. This is a really important feature of these monitors. We have the precision setting, which is going to be the most linear and transparent of the four different voicings we can have. It's gonna give us perfect frequency and phase response and just gives us basically the truth, nothing else, nothing more. It's gonna be super accurate. Comfort setting, you'll notice adds a different curve to this. And the comfort setting is designed to provide a response shape that while keeping optimal translation qualities makes longer sessions of mixing more comfortable thanks to a slightly less pronounced high mid range and a focus on the lower mids. Moving on from there, we have the HF presence. This voice gently puts the high frequency slightly up front. Some engineers enjoy this kind of a characteristic, which it just kind of helps them in producing well-balanced programs. And then finally, we have the wide dispersion. And this voice expands the vertical dispersion of the monitors, making them ideal to be used where people are both sitting and standing in the same room or when the room has a nice reverberant sound. And stimulating with a fuller response can give a more natural representation of the program. 
I really have enjoyed just using the precision setting and it's worked really well for the time that I've been using this. Now, the other great thing about the voice is we can go to a number of other menus where it says studio monitors and we can select different classic studio monitors and emulate the way that those would sound in our room. So this would allow us to be able to check our mix on multiple sources, in this case, virtual sources, white 80s. I'm guessing this is the old Yamaha NS10Ms that were so popular back in the day. And we can just come here and check it against the other iLoud smaller speaker sets and really see how our mix is going to translate. We can also mimic some hi-fi bookshelf speakers or floor standing speakers. And we can also do things like mimic virtually a 49 inch TV, portable Bluetooth speaker, or even what it's going to sound like when somebody listens on their smartphone, which is sadly a very common way of listening nowadays. This is an absolutely invaluable feature set, and I can't tell you how helpful it was to sit here, know that when I'm on my precision setting, I'm listening to a very accurate representation of what's happening in my mix, and then I can quickly bounce around and check out how it's gonna sound in other virtual environments. Really fabulous stuff. As I mentioned before, and as I showed you the hardware version of the controller, we have the four button controllers that I can use by just hitting the hardware unit as I'm doing right now, but I can assign these by simply right clicking on them. I can toggle ARC on and off just by using a button. I can mute, I can dim, or I can assign it to any of the voicings that we previously spoke of. So let's say I wanted number one to be precision, but number two, I wanted to check what it was gonna sound like on the white 80s. And I can just hit my button either within X monitor software or on my hardware tabletop unit. So that's a really fabulous addition to the X monitor software. We have a link button down here so that if it is on, whatever I do to one side, the same thing will apply to the other side as well. Generally, I'm gonna leave that on for most of the time and we will today as well, but know that you can disable that so you can have different settings on each monitor, but we'll keep that on for now. We can turn the calibration on and off. And we also have different contour settings here. We can do 80 Hertz high pass filter. And if we hit this button right here, it shows how it is processing this. We can move things around ourselves with custom. We can add extra bottom. Uh, we can really do whatever we need to within X monitor to give us the results that we want for what's coming out of our monitor. So far, I just have been using these on default with the calibration on, and it has done an amazing job for me. And I'm extremely happy with the way that these are working out thus far. So moving on, we also have a standby timer. If we decide that we want to just always leave our iLoud Precision monitors turned on, powered on, we have a standby timer that we can set to different amounts for each speaker. If we want them to go into standby mode after 40 minutes, we can do that. If we want it after nine minutes, we can do that or even longer. We can just choose however long we want before they go into standby mode. Very nice feature to have and nice to have the ability to control that right here from X monitor. We can also adjust the delay settings between monitors or we can lock that. If there was ever a time where we needed to delay one speaker more than the other, maybe if we had to position the monitors in a room different distances away from where you're going to be seating so that one speaker is maybe closer. But ideally, I would want to have the speakers positioned properly and leave this at zero. But the ability is there, which is really a well thought out tool that the folks at IK Multimedia have added in there. Now, what about the calibration process? You know, a lot of folks might go, oh, I just could never face having to calibrate my speakers. I, I wouldn't know where to start, but we need to calibrate each speaker separately. So we hit the calibration button for the speaker we want to calibrate. And this is the first page. We get a welcome page. This is iLoud Precision Calibration. The setup assistant will guide you through the room analysis process. Click next to proceed. We click next and it gives you very detailed instructions on how to get started. Hardware setup, connect the ARC microphone that I showed you earlier in this video on the back of the selected speaker. Connect the ARC microphone to the ARC mic input 
of the back of iLoud Precision with an XLR cable. Really simple stuff. Number two, position the microphone. Place the microphone to align with your ears both horizontally and vertically. And they give you a little graphic here that this is the correct positioning and height. Place your microphone horizontally at your ear level around sitting position. So I did just that. I moved on. Now it says room analysis. Follow the points as indicated in the image. The mic position may be approximate. So the nice thing is knowing that you don't have to have the measuring tape out here. You're going to get these approximate zones here that they want you to position the microphones in and they show it nicely with your sitting position. Click on capture point to start. When the capture is complete, the upward point will start flashing. Now I really can't show you anything else beyond this, but if I hit this capture point button with the microphone placed right here, it will do the appropriate measurements. It'll tell me then to move the microphone. I move it here. Then I move it here, I go through the same process, move it here. Once that's done, I hit next and I move on. And it really is that simple. It took minutes to do this and the results were absolutely spectacular. And don't feel any remorse in the fact that I have a for sale sign on my previous monitors. I have never been happier. And I really do believe this is gonna be a super upgrade to my studio and allow me to work in a much more efficient manner. So there you have it. Obviously, I can't let you hear what these sound like in my room in any way over a video. Uh, that's the tough part about a video about monitors or trying to make a buying decision about monitors online. The beautiful part knowing that the built-in ARC system is there is going to guarantee that you're going to get incredible results from a pair of monitors that even without the ARC compensation system, these are still incredible monitors. They, they were fabulous right out of the box, worked really, really well. Add the built-in ARC system and X monitor and you have a system that I don't think can be beat at any price range and I've never been happier here. I know a lot of folks might say, well, yeah, they gave you a discount, so you'll say anything. And truly, I will not use equipment that doesn't give me the results I need. This is too important to me. I do this for a living. I need to provide the artists that I'm doing sessions with tones that are gonna work. I need to give folks tones that are gonna work for their modelers. I need to come up with mixes that are gonna sound good. And the quicker I can accomplish that, the better it's going to be for me and the person listening in the end. And I finally found a set of monitors that's gonna allow me to do that. So I cannot recommend these enough. I am totally blown away with them. The folks at IK Multimedia have really been knocking it out of the park lately. My hat's off to them. I have a great relationship with them. They are fine, fine folks and are coming out with some wonderful technology. So like I said, I have some affiliate links below for these monitors. If you are so inclined and looking to buy a pair, please click through there. I get a little bit of a kickback from IK Multimedia when you use my link and that helps me to keep doing what I do. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed that look at these monitors, but mostly the X monitor software and what these are all about. And I hope that can help you to decide whether or not these would be right for you and I really hope that if you do decide to go this route that you do truly enjoy these as much as I have been. I'm very excited to get to work on them and I'm going to go do that right after shooting this video. I'm going to get to work on some new music and some mixes. So thanks so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some use out of watching it and also please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I will be back really soon with some more. Hit those affiliate links below if you want to grab some of these speakers. Thank you guys again for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.